Christian A. Ross, ladies and gentlemen. Hi guys, we we are are we alive? We okay? Yeah. There you. It sounds like no. We're gonna have to do this again. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Are we alive and well in here? Yeah. There. There we go. There. There we go. Uh, I realize that I'm sexy because when you hear white people go "ow," that means you are you are hot. <laughs> and I feel hot. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you again. I do like white men. Uh, so peep this. So. <laughs> Um, I, like I did Ancestry.com, has anybody done that? A few? Yeah. Um, I did Ancestry.com and, and I found out, um, surprisingly, um, besides the obvious, um, that I'm an Afro-American white woman. Uh, so I've been, I've been exploring my white heritage. Um, I touched a dog I didn't know. Like that's, that's big to me, but that's small to some of you because you guys are dog lovers. Uh, <laughs> I took my own bag um, in the Sprouts and uh, got a discount, uh, so I'm balling. Uh, happy holidays to me. Um, do, you guys, do you guys party? This is a partying type of crowd? Some of, there you go. Yeah, I, I had to give up partying like a few days ago. Um, I came to the conclusion, I don't, like I can't party with the white girls. Like, y'all really party. Like, 911 help party. Like, it's dangerous. Dangerous partying is what you do. Like, the girls called me up and they was like, come on, we're gonna take you out. I'm talking boobs, hair, makeup. And I was like, okay, where are we gonna go? We're gonna take you to the church. Like, like church, like Jesus church? Like, what type of church? Just come on, get dressed, let's go. Okay, I decided to go. So I went to the church and I walked into the church and all I heard was <laughs> Look audience, out of 34 years, I've never been off beat. But that night I was off beat. <laughs> like people was up, I was down, I, I just couldn't catch the beat. So the girls was like, come on, we're gonna drink, you're gonna get wasted. And I was like, I don't know if I wanna get wasted because I don't know where I'm at. I know I'm at the church, but this doesn't seem right. They said, come on, just drink. And they start bringing me drinks. I'm like, bring me the drink, what is it? What am I drinking? Bruised knees and daddy issues. And I was like, I do want bruised knees. I don't really think I got daddy issues, but I, will, I do want bruised knees. So I just started taking the drinks back. Taking the drinks back, we're in there then. All of a sudden, I got hot. Hot to the point where I started getting ready to want to throw up. And I looked at them for help, like, hey, I don't think I'm going to make it. And they're like, come on, just keep dancing. And, and I'm like, no, I'm going to die, I think. And they were like, just come on, come on, do you want another daddy issue? I'm like, no, I don't want another daddy issue. So I start throwing up on the middle of the dance floor in the church. <laughs> Freaks the white girls out. Oh my God, Sinead's gonna die. One of them was there to aid me the whole time. The other girls were spreading abroad in the club, in the church. I throw up again. I said, oh my God, I'm really throwing up in Jesus's house. Like I felt horrible, like I felt horrible. The girl, as soon as I started throwing up, she signals everybody else to come to my aid. Tabitha, close out the tab, get our purses. We gotta get her out of here. All along, I still hear this music. Courtney, get off of Tyrone's lap. Get her a burrito. We gotta get her out of here. She's gonna die. Okay, okay. Somebody call her Uber. We gotta get her out of here. She's gonna die. Oh, you poor thing. We should have did wine in the vision board party. And oh my God, should I hold her hair? Taylor, should I hold her hair? And then Taylor's over here dancing on the side. And Taylor's like, don't touch a black woman's hair. <laughs> The next thing I know, they're dancing me out of there. I wake up the next morning, and there was no judgment at all. I was served pancakes. And they was like, woo, you had a night. And I was like, I think so. And she was like, you just experienced my friend WGW. And I was like, what is that? She was like, you got white girl wasted. I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I like being white girl wasted, okay. 
do you, do you guys look like a Starbucks crowd? Is this a Starbucks crowd? I thought so. I, I like Starbucks, I do, but it's just like obvious racism in Starbucks. And if you have a hard name, your drink is not gonna get called. Like, it's true, like, I went with my cousin, and, and we went, and her name is Shaniqua. And if they ever ask you in Starbucks how to spell your name, and especially if it's not the typical name, your drink is really not getting called. So my cousin goes up, she said, hi, I will take a tall latte, hold the whip, all this term stuff that you guys use. And, and she was like, okay, and your name? And she was like, Shaniqua. How do you spell that? So my cousin tells her how to spell it. She was like, just wait over there towards the end. So she goes over there. I have a tall whip, hold the blah, 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 blah for. Shh, uh, shh, uh, hey lady, this is your drink, you, her, you, here you go. And so I got offended, I was like, what kind of stuff is this? What kind of stuff? And then there was a guy behind us, he was, he was Arabic. And he had a hard, hard name. Like it was like, like it was some of that. But it was the same thing. And she looked at him and he was like, I just want a tall coffee just with a little splash of cream. And she, and she was like, okay, and your name? And he said it and she just looked at him like, just go to the right, just go to, we'll get your drink right on up. <laughs> I have a black coffee with the cream for you, sir. Hey, here you go, here's your drink. It, it was obvious raises, so I was like, I'm, I'm about, no, I'm gonna redeem us. Like, we're not doing this. So I went to another, we left that Starbucks. I dropped my cousin off and I went to another Starbucks. And you know how they have the little mobile ass where you can put your little order in on your smartphone and you can get it? I was like, I'm standing up for freedom. <laughs> I started grabbing drinks that wasn't even mine. She was like, hi, Amber. I was like, yes, I'm Amber. I am, I will take this Frappuccino. This green tea, yes I will. I had about six drinks. And I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> so I lost, I lost, I lost. <laughs> Halloween is coming up, like I'm, I'm jealous of the kids now because your parents will give you the full outfit. If you wanna be Spider-Man, oh you gonna be Spider-Man. Like I'm like an 80s baby. So when Halloween came around, my mom was a jerk. I can say that, mom, I made it on TV, not really, but yeah, she was a jerk. She utilized what she had at the house. One time I was bills. Like she pasted all the bills on me. I'm knocking on people's doors like trick or treat. And they were like, what are you? I was like, rent, car payment, groceries, child. So it was embarrassing. So the kids that's in the audience, you guys are lucky uh, that you can really be Batman and Superman, like you don't have to be like the curtains. Um, <laughs> it was just pretty, yeah, it was pretty weird. Uh, my grandmother has um, Alzheimer's and I'm learning, I've learned to, to smile in the midst of that and let her know that she still loved, despite her repeating stuff over and over again. I make it seem as if she didn't ask me that before, but I've learned that people that have Alzheimer's have a tendency to be reminded of different things that they've experienced in their past. We're sitting at home watching CNN, and she sees Donald Trump, and I'm just, we're just watching, and she starts freaking out. I know who he is. I, I was like, you do? Yeah, I know who he is. I was like, well, who is he? She's like, Richard Nixon. I was like, I don't, I, don't, I don't think that that's Richard Nixon. She was like, I am not a crook. I was like, no, no, that's, do that's Donald Trump. And she was like, I don't know him. That's Richard Nixon. Okay, okay. So I'm simply saying if there's anybody in the house that has somebody that is dealing with Alzheimer's, let them be. Because it's laughter even in the mix of all of that. There's just, there's just laughter in that. Um, I guess that, is that my time, sir? I didn't want, that. you didn't want me to keep... Uh, wait, wait, one more thing before I go. Because um, Colorado, like, th this is a fit state. Um, but there's, there was the devil upstairs because I seen the option from Lamar's and the pizza. And you, I seen some of the women kind of skip which pizza they should do. 
I seen all the donuts. I was like, this is bad. This is really bad. Like, the, the donuts are still, don't do donuts next time. Do grapes. <laughs> Quinoa, uh, spinach. <laughs> Like, ladies, at the end of the day, like, love everything about you. Love everything about you. Everything. If you have extra thighs, clap those thighs. Clap them. If you got a little extra belly, rub it. If you got bat rings, shake them and fly away. The Kardashians has nothing on you. Um, I want to know just just briefly. Uh, well, I want to know a couple things. Um, I, I heard something about some sort of comedy works festival that you're participating in. Um, Is, did I make that up? No, you didn't make that up. Um, so it was the New Face competition. It started off with 177 comedians, and it went down to 11, and I was one of the 11. So. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, seriously. I, I want people here and at home to be able to find you. I mean, not like at your house, but like find you online. I want them to be able to follow you and come to your shows. How, how, what's the best way to do that? This is a safe crowd and I wouldn't care if they showed up um, at my house. Um, <laughs> um, but definitely Facebook, Shanae Ross, that's S-H-A-N-A-E. Yes, that's my real name. I get that sometimes, but it is Shanae Ross. Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, follow me. I follow you back. Not like literally follow you back. Like, yeah, but yeah, follow me follow you back. And you can catch me around town. I'll be at the Squire Lounge. Um, next week I'll be doing, uh, the week after I'll do Comedy in the Alley. Um, so that sounds really nasty. Comedy in the Alley. Like just sounds really prostitutish. Um, but yeah, just, <laughs> I won't be, yeah, just follow me. And yeah. <laughs> awesome. We will, we'll find you there. <laughs> Thanks so much. Great work. Appreciate it. Yeah.